guys and welcome back to my channel um, if you're new here then welcome and if you're returning then welcome back first I want to start off this video just because I'm sorry I've been so quiet lately um, there's just been a lot going on um, in life lately and I will do an update very soon as soon as everything is finalized um, and all of that then I will give you guys a update to my channel some changes I'm gonna be making in the future um, just because of some life changes that happened um, so I do apologize for that but thank you for bearing with me and thank you for coming back this week um, so this week's video is a it's seven tips on how to keep a keep <laughs> how to keep a clean home or a somewhat tidy house because uh, I'm gonna tell you guys now if you want the perfect house that's not me I am a busy mum at the moment I work full-time um, and as well as you know other church obligations that I have and social life and toddler and husband so my life does get a bit chaotic but I do try and keep the house as tidy as possible because I just like a clean home it's just I've always been that way um, so today I'm going to be sharing seven tips with you of things that I do to keep my house somewhat manageable and keeps me from going insane um, so equal if you guys have any tips then please share that down below in the comments because I'm always willing to look for ways to make my life easier so let's go right into it tip number one is clean as you go it's simple everyone probably knows it but um, I mean even before um, I like watching cleaning videos and people routines even before um, I got into YouTube and watched things like that when I um, was a stay-at-home mum for a year um, it's often just forgotten but it's literally just when a mess gets made my toddler always makes a mess so I try and once she makes a mess in that moment just clean it up um, or anything that's out of place I try as much as I can and as much as you know we can as mums just clean as we go declutter as we go put things in its places as we go I mean um, if you're going from the lounge to the kitchen it's that whole thing about um, never going empty hands um, basically so that's tip number one tip number two is daily cleaning schedules now this might sound boring but the re this really helps me um, and this for me is two parts I've got a morning cleaning routine and I've got an evening cleaning routine and that it basically just means things that you do daily to keep your house um, somewhat in order for me daily what I want to get done is making the beds because it does make a big difference in a house it's making the beds making sure the dishwasher is unloaded and that my countertops are white and that my bathroom is tidy so by that I mean no kids toys laying around in the bath or anything like that so everything gets picked up now mine is in two parts so I've got my morning cleaning routine which for me is very basic because um, some mornings I work I do shift work so some mornings I work some um, mornings I'm off but I tend to be busy in the mornings and take my toddler out in the mornings and things so mine is very basic and it's basically just getting up and making the beds and that for me is my morning routine because often it will literally just be getting dressed getting out the house as long as my beds are made I already feel accomplished for the day um, and it's just basically setting you know write it all down if you sit down write down what you want to get done in a day um, and then divide it into morning and evening so for me the mornings just looks like making my beds you know if you're wondering about doing my dishes and stuff in the morning I literally just put them in the sink because then number two I've got my evening cleaning routine now in the evening mine starts at 4 4 30 alongside our evening routine because that's normally when I start cooking dinner if I do need to cook that evening um, and then that is when I will unpack repack my dishwasher while I'm cooking dinner and you know while I'm getting dinner cooked I will clean the kitchen as much as I can so that at the end of the night it's basically just a quick clean um, and that's what I do in the evenings in the evenings I like to have my t um, kitchen clean sorry I can't speak today but I like to have my kitchen clean and I like to have my lounge tidy so no toys you know just laying everywhere and I pick up my bathroom and if it needs a clean however I will do that but I like to go to bed with a clean kitchen lounge and um, bathroom and that doesn't mean a deep clean it literally just means picking up tidying things in its places um, 
it just you know it just helps so yeah cleaning routines daily cleaning routines sit down my tongue on the pad and then mornings and evenings and then that's tip number two tip number three I nearly forgot what I was up to is weekly cleaning schedules now a weekly cleaning schedule alongside your daily cleaning schedule it really 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 does help and I can't emphasize enough um, that it really does help keep your, keep your house somewhat tidy again not perfect but tidy so mine looks like this and I don't know if you can see but it's very basic it's not even a cleaning schedule <laughs> just you know I bought it cheap I think online or somewhere I can't even remember and I just decided to turn that into a cleaning board that I can hang up in my kitchen everyone can see it um, it might seem like a lot but really really isn't because I spent maybe 30 30 minutes or 40 minutes a day on my weekly cleaning routine and then you know maybe an hour on my morning and evening routine so really isn't a lot of time I mean even with that that's maybe two hours tops of your day you know and there's so many hours in a day um, to do it and sometimes you know like on a Wednesday I've only got my floors to wash and um, hoovering the whole house so that takes me 30 minutes so it might seem like a lot but it really isn't and all I've done is just you know when I started I wrote down everything I wanted to get done in a week and then I basically broke it all down into days so you can see um, yesterday I had lounge bins and bathroom um, today it is our bedroom and laundry um, tomorrow's hoover and mop the floor and it really just helps me to not get overwhelmed but I think I've got all this stuff to do and equally some days like you can see yesterday I didn't do the lounge and I don't stress about it it's like if I don't get to it I'll get to it next week because what this does is that you can really really focus on the room that you have to do then so every week if like normally on a Monday when I do do it I will go through my child's toy box I will reorganize that well not reorganize all the time but just find all the pieces always as much as I can clean skirting boards um, whatever hoover my sofas so it really really just allows you to focus in the room um, for you know in the rooms that you have down for the day or the tasks that you have for the day so you can really do what you need to do well and properly um so yeah that's my cleaning routine my weekly cleaning routine yours might look different um but it really really just does help breaking down what you need to do every day so that you don't get overwhelmed you can just think i've got these three things to do today and you know these three weeklies and these you know two dailies or whatever it might be whatever you need to do to make your life as simple as possible so that is tip number three tip number four is a 30 minute evening pickup so I did mention earlier that I like to have my kitchen bathroom and lounge tidy at the end of the night and everything picked up all toys and stuff and that is what um, that is what I do so that is my 30 minute pickup every night because I try not spend more than 30 minutes picking up so I do just you know after dinner time and everything me and my husband would just spend 30 minutes and we will tidy up those things and it really just makes such a difference to waking up in the morning and not having a messy lounge with toys everywhere or toys laying in the hallway or just toys all over the bathroom um, from bath time the night before um, 30 minutes every evening is really really not a lot of time to spend cleaning is better than cleaning all day I really really find this better than cleaning all day because before um, I came up you know came up with these things that I do I, I could find myself cleaning like all the time every day and I would be you know I would actually become anxious because things were just messes and that's you know I felt like all I was doing with my time was cleaning and now I know I don't have to stress because at the end of the night um, worst comes to worst if I didn't get anything done at least I will have my 30 minute pickup in the evening to help out so that is tip number four tip number five is teaching um, your child to clean up early from an early age now obviously my daughter is only two years old so she doesn't know how to clean properly 
but when she sees me cleaning she is interested so what I will do is for instance if I am dusting um, my lounge on a Monday I will give her a little cloth um, and she will well I say clean with me but <laughs> she thinks she's cleaning with me but she gets the gist of it um, and now when I want her toys to be picked up at the end of the night I will ask her to help me I do do it because obviously she is small still but if her duplo is everywhere I will I will ask her and I will say Amelia come and help mummy and she gets that she'll pack them all away um, and things like that and it's just doing that with her so that she gets used to it and hopefully when she's older she can do it on her own then um, but it's just getting them used to the whole thing about tidying up after themselves I mean even when you know she carries her books all over the house because she loves books and she loves reading and things I will ask her to go take it and go put it on her bed so that I can then go and put it into her little shelf um, thing at the end of the night and she understands that and it's just giving them that bit of instruction and um, freedom for them to be able to do things and get used to doing things and she knows that if she makes a mess I you know I will ask her I mean can you please pick that up and put it in the bin and um, because sometimes you know as all kids do they just chuck things anywhere and she will do that because from a very very young age me and my husband have asked her to do things and done things with her so she's slowly getting used to that so um, so far so good so I um, would like to encourage you guys to give your kids that freedom because at the end of the day they see this little game um, they see you doing it and they want to do it more and it's really taking advantage of that before they get old enough to tell you no <laughs> because by hopefully by that time it will be instilled in them and they are so used to it that you know they'll just do it so that is tip number five tip number six is 10 minute timer now, a few weeks ago, I did a like a 10 minute time lapse clean thing. I don't do it all the time, but on weeks, you know, when someone, um, one of us gets sick or I work a lot, you know, a lot more or there's just certain things that's come up in the week that meant that, you know, I couldn't get to my weekly or my daily routine and the house is just a mess. Um, especially on weekends sometimes, I do like to set um, just the time on my phone. Um, for 10 minutes and it's amazing how much you can get done in 10 minutes I literally just write down what I hope to get done and see you know I might do one 10 minutes or two 10 minutes but just break up with 10 minutes I don't know why but it just helps me feel a li little bit less anxious about what I have to get done and if I set myself two you know 10 minute timers and what doesn't get done doesn't get done but it's really really amazing I really encourage you guys to give this a go um, and see how much you can really really get done um, because it's amazing that when you know it's kind of fun at the end of the day you know you're kind of racing against the clock um, I encourage you guys to try that and see how much you can get done in 10 minutes because before I did this you know you used to think oh, I've only got 10 minutes I mean how much can you really really get done in that time but you know it's busy mums we are limited on time and we do tend to utilize it more if you know you've got 10 minutes it's amazing what we are capable of so that's tip number six is 10 minute timer tip number seven and this is the last tip is tackle an extra now what I mean by tackle an extra is um, one day a week where you have a light cleaning day maybe it's a day where you're not working so much maybe it's a weekend for you if you have a Monday to Friday job so I'm just trying to pick up my cleaning my weekly cleaning routine if you can see there on a Friday because all I've got on a Friday is Amelia's bedroom because normally I finish work at about 3 30 on a Friday is one extra um, because her room doesn't take me that long to clean and that can be anything um, I don't know your houses might be perfect mine is not there's so many decluttering projects so that one extra I leave open because it can be anything that week it might be I want to sort and declutter one drawer in my kitchen it might be I want to sort a drawer sort a drawer of clothing it might you know it can be anything it might be I want to clean my windows that week um, and that just helps you to you know things that you don't get to like all the time that you don't get to in your weekly so it might not be a weekly cleaning it might not be a daily cleaning it's just certain it's you know it can be things like washing my curtains because I don't wash my curtains every week it just gives you leeway to and that really helps me 
feel as well oh I'm not getting to this I'm never getting to that um, because I know this one day a week where I can do one extra thing and if you don't get to it it's an extra thing so I don't stress about it but it's nice just to do that so I am trying to use mine to organize and clean my kitchen um, I will be doing that soon I might record some of it as a like a declutter project but my kitchen is like a complete and utter mess and that just means that on a Friday I can go I can do one drawer two drawers um, today and that just really helps as well with all the other extra stuff that's just constantly in my house and just cluttering my life I really really want to try and declutter lives and just declutter from stuff because it's annoying when you can't find things um, so yeah so it is tackle one extra thing a week so that is tip number seven now those were the seven tips that I have for you guys but I nearly forgot that there's an eighth tip and I do not want to let you guys go without saying this it is delegate 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 because as women well as it might just be me but sometimes we feel like everything falls on us like for us um, before I spoke to my husband I will feel like I had to do all the cleaning when I went back to work I had to do all the cooking and, and, and it just becomes too much because they they don't think the same as that as us so my husband won't look at a pile of laundry and think oh it needs you know it needs doing um, kind of like thing but what I started doing with my cleaning routine is as you can see I tick things off that's not done so when my husband because I work two weekends a month so if my husband sees there's anything that I didn't get to that week then he can do it as well and I would um, highly recommend that you guys maybe do put up a cleaning schedule like this because it does help that other people in the house can see it as well and it helps that you don't feel um, that you need to do it all as well because like everyone can see it everyone can see it's not stick ticked off so it's like why have you not done it like seriously it's on the list so <laughs> highly recommend that you guys get whether it's a blackboard or write it in a notebook but that you know whoever lives with you whether you've got older kids and they can see it as well whatever lives with you that they you know they can help out as well delegation is so important not become burnt out um, as you know as mums and not feel like we have to do everything in the house um, all by ourselves all the time um, so yeah that is a bonus tip number eight for you guys so tip number eight I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you do like these kind of like tip videos and things like that then please co um, comment in the comments below and let me know let me know if there's anything that you guys do as busy moms to keep a t somewhat tiny house because I don't think my house will ever look perfect again um with kids it's just impossible but you can you know keep it somewhat tidy um, and manageable to not go insane um or not kill anyone in your house at least um and do you know a cleaning schedule to help you out sorry amelia is awake i'll be right back <gasps> say hiya <laughs> Oh, someone is not happy. Sorry, guys. She's not very happy. She just woke up and she had a fall yesterday. So, her poor little lip is all swollen. But um, I'm going to say goodbye. And, yes, yeah, so please, if you've got any tips, please comment and let me know. Um, and please give this video a thumbs up, um, like, and please subscribe if you do like my what are you doing if you do like my channel um like i said some updates are coming soon so please keep an eye out um and i can't wait to hear from you guys and please let me know if you do try any of these tips or incorporate them as well so till next week have a great week guys can you say bye bye no. can you say bye bye can you say bye bye everyone no can you say bye bye oh you are not happy. Bye.